So now let's add a video player task module. So a task module can be a web page. It's implemented with HTML and JavaScript. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create uh, a new HTML file where we're going to store uh, or we're going to implement our task module. So I'm going to do that over here. We're going to the public folder, the YouTube um, player one tab, and I'm going to create a new file here called player.html and just paste in some HTML here. The video player task module will use the YouTube embedded player to show the specified video. Uh, the video will be defined in the query string when the player.html file uh, is loaded. So I'm going to implement the iframe of the embedded video by adding uh, some JavaScript right before the closing body tag. I'll just do that right here uh, in the player HTML file. So now let's go ahead and let's implement the task module uh, in the per in the personal tab or from the personal tab. So I'm going to go back to our task module tab. So I'm going to add a little utility method to our component. So I'll go ahead and add that right here. So this is called app root. And now the next thing I want to do is I want to go through and I want to uh, implement method that's called show on show video. So what is that going to do? So we'll go ahead and paste that in. All right. So what happens here is that when our task module, when, when this uh, app root runs, so we can see that that's getting uh, defined right here. What that's doing is it's checking to get the URL um, uh, where this uh, page is going to be loaded or what the domain of it is. Uh, so it can tell that if there, if it's not in a window, like if it's undefined, it's going to create its own link to whatever the host name environment variable that's being passed in when this project is being cr uh, built. And then on show video, what it's doing, this, this code is creating a new task info object with the details of the task module. And then it's going to load and launch the task module. The task module does nothing but just display some information. So we don't need to implement the callback. So let's go test this out. So I'm gonna come back to our project and I'm gonna go off of our tab and then come back into our tab. And now I'm just gonna select the show video method. And what that does, you can see, is it's opening up a task module and it's displaying the video uh, that we wanna render uh, that you can see right here. And we can see that this is the embedded uh, YouTube player, so I can actually launch it and see a video start playing uh, from YouTube. So fantastic, so now we're in good shape. Now let's add a video selector task module. Um, so we're gonna update the project to include a new task module that will enable the user to change the video that's loaded in the player task module. So for this one, we're gonna implement it. It's similar to how the custom tab is implemented um, using a, as a React app. So I'm gonna come back to our project and I'm gonna create a new file in our public uh, folder. This is gonna be called selector.html and it's in not just in the public folder, but it's inside of our YouTube player one tab um, uh, subfolder. Now I'm put the following HTML that you can see here um, on the page uh, to go ahead and, and to, to launch the, um, the YouTube player. Now I wanna register the page uh, that I just created in the last step with the project hosting infrastructure. So this is gonna add the necessary HTTP headers to the page's response to ensure that it's gonna be loaded within an iframe, but only within the Microsoft Teams client. So I'm gonna go create a new file. If I go over to my server folder, go into YouTube player one tab, and then create a new folder here called video selector task module.ts and just going to paste in some code and what that's doing is is that's listing out this uh, using this uh, decorator called prevent iframe that's just going to make sure that that um, this is only going to load uh, inside of Microsoft Teams the way that we want it to now I need to register this page by adding a line to an existing file in our project so this teams apps component I need to add this entry in here as well what that's going to do is that's going to load the uh, component server side that I just mentioned a second ago, um, which will make sure that the right header is gonna be added uh, to that module. Now with the selectors page created and registered, and the next, the next step is to implement the React app that's gonna be loaded on the page. So I'm gonna create a new file inside of my YouTube player tab called video selector task module.tsx. I'm gonna go ahead and just paste in some code here. So what this is, is this is, we have no return statement just yet, but what this is doing is, is that this is gonna uh, create um, just the shell of what we need uh, for our application uh, to run. 
Um, you can see here that I have this set YouTube video ID on the state. It's getting the query string variable uh, called VID, and that's gonna be passed in uh, as a um, uh, query string value when this app, when this thing loads. So now I need to implement the user interface of my task module. So I'm gonna go to my return statement and paste in the following return statement. Now I need to implement two handlers that are gonna be referenced in the uh, return statement. So if I come over here right before the return, I'll implement these two handlers of handle on change, we can see is uh, for the input or for the button or for the input control and handle on click is for the actual button. Um, the, the handle on change method is gonna implement uh, or update the state of the value specified in the input control while the handle on click method uses the Teams SDK to pass the ID of the video back to the personal tab. Um, I need to make this React cl this class available to the rest of the application um, by adding uh, one more line here. If I come over to clients, uh, client.ts, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and export that as well. So that's available to our rest of our application. Now, the last step is to implement our on change videos. Let's back up again to our task module. I'm sorry, go, we wanna back up to our actual tab here it is. And there's our on change video handler. So I need to add some code here to say that um, once it's changed, what it does is that this first creates our task module uh, info object that's going to define the task module. And it also creates a callback that you can see here called the submit handler that will take the result from the task module and use it to update the state um, of, the, uh, of our little React app. And you can see that we're registering the task or we're starting it as you see right here. So now let's test this out. So if I come back over to my web app, we have uh, we can see that uh, the node, um, the gulp ngrok serve process is still running in the background. So all I have to do is leave the tab and then come back to reload the page to make sure that we're getting all of the new code here. And what I can do then is I'm gonna change the video ID. So I can put in any video ID uh, here for a new video that we want to use. I'm going to enter the ID of another YouTube video and select the update button. So I'm going to go ahead and paste in this video and then select update. Now notice the ID of the video has changed. So now when you select the show video button, as you can see here, notice I'm getting a totally different video showing up than what we saw. In this demo, you learned the basics of task modules in Microsoft Teams and how to collect input from users in a custom Teams tab and task module. Um, after creating a new personal tab, you then added two task modules to it.